New at noon, a medical examiner has officially confirmed the identity of a Madison man who died in an East Side shooting last week. Plus, former President Trump could face a federal indictment in connection with the January 6th Capitol riots and the 2020 election. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in. The Dane County Medical Examiner has officially confirmed the identity of a Madison man who was shot on the city's far east side last week. 20-year-old Devon Grant died Thursday after being shot outside an apartment complex in the 5900 block of Milwaukee Street. The medical examiner's office said preliminary autopsy results show Grant died from his injuries in the shooting. Grant's mother, Alicia, says that she saw her son get shot. She told News 3 Now no parent should witness their child killed, gunned down in the streets. Police have not made any arrests but believe the shooting was targeted. Milwaukee police say a mother and her boyfriend are facing felony charges after two children were found roaming the streets naked and filthy. A neighbor was driving home when he spotted the children. He said they had red marks and bruises all over their bodies and their hair was full of matted feces. Both are under the age of 10. We thought they were wearing costumes at first, you know, because the hair was so long, it looked like it was, they were wearing wigs. And when I get a closer look at it, Adam, uh, I looked at my wife, I says, them are not costumes, because we saw a bunch of red marks on them and they had no clothes. Katie Koch, the mother of the ch uh, children, and her boyfriend, Joel Mankey, both faced several charges of chronic neglect of a child and false imprisonment. Police described the home as a, quote, terrible hoarding situation. The children's room had a lock on the outside. Cash bail was set at $30,000 for Koch for and $6,500 for her boyfriend. A Madison police officer will be in court today for a plea hearing. Carrie Howes is charged with felony strangulation and misdemeanor battery. Deputies in Columbia County responded to a domestic incident in a home last November. A woman said House had been drinking all day and started yelling and choking her in front of her young daughter. In 2013, Officer House was suspected, suspended, that is, without pay for 30 days after firing a gun while drinking. Madison police requirements disqualify anyone with domestic abuse convictions or unpardoned felony convictions. Let's head over to the weather, weather center. Now, meteorologist Greg Barnard has a look at our first worn forecast. Nice and sunny day out there. Yeah, just a slightly warmer conditions that we've had for the past two days, but still actually not too bad considering we're in the middle of July. Upper 70s right now, 78 in Madison, but we have gotten into the 80s in several locations with that wind has turned around from the south. Overall, sky condition, a few clouds. We had a few showers continuing up to the north. Overall, we just had a few clouds pass through this morning and now this afternoon. We'll see on and off cloud cover as the system begins to approach to the area. Bigger picture shows that system up to the north will probably develop more showers and thunderstorms for right now everything is maintaining itself into northern Wisconsin or in western Iowa right now but that will change as we go through the night there's your precipitation mainly up to the north a few showers just north of the interstate up there this morning otherwise everything else is quiet at the time being increase in moisture a dew point has come up especially to the west or so up a little bit but so far nothing too excessive with the dew points but we have crept up near 60. overall this afternoon we're not expecting much in the way of condition changing up to about 83. The chance of rain really looks to hold off until later tonight. That's why we do have a, still a severe risk up to the north. Those are the storms that should form and then dig southeast towards the area closer to midnight. We'll break down if they can make it down here and whether we'll see any amount of rain through tonight and then what the conditions look like through the weekend, including excessive heat coming next week, all that a bit later in the broadcast. So the concerts on the square should be okay. So far, everything looks good for that. should be dry. This stuff will be probably closer towards midnight. Okay. Thank you, Greg. The city of Beloit is among the 10 places in the country selected to receive a grant to help its residents with upward mobility. It's from the International City Management Association. The organization helps governments across the globe with leadership and management best practices. The city will receive $30,000 from the association and plans to use the money to address the child care crisis its community is facing. Well, just hours after revealing more criminal charges could be looming, Donald Trump was on the campaign trail last night. Natalie Brand tells us the former president claims he did nothing wrong and that the latest investigation into his role on January 6th is a disgrace. 
The threat of a third indictment since March is not slowing down former President Donald Trump's 2024 campaign. We won twice, as you know, and we're going to win again and we're going to win big. Still repeating the lie that he won the election in 2020, Trump said on social media he's been informed that he is a target of the special counsel's investigation into the events of January 6, 2021 and his alleged role in trying to overturn the 2020 election. I didn't know practically what a subpoena was and grand juries and all of this. Now I'm like becoming an expert. I have no choice because we have to. It's a disgrace. Legal experts say sending a target letter is typically one of the final steps a prosecutor will take before charging a person with a federal crime. Prosecutors don't send target letters unless they are all but certain to bring an indictment. Despite his legal challenges, Trump remains the clear front runner for the GOP 2024 presidential nomination. Fellow Republican candidates are seizing on the latest developments to make a case for their own campaigns. Leader, we can't keep dealing with this drama. We can't keep dealing with the negativity. We can't keep dealing with all of this. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says he doesn't believe Trump should face charges for January 6th, but he made his strongest criticism yet of what happened that day. How he was in the White House and didn't do anything while, while things were going on. Uh, he should have come out more forcefully. On Tuesday, Trump said he has four days to appear before a grand jury. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Washington. And Trump is already facing federal charges for his alleged misuse of classified documents at his Florida resident. In New York, he's charged with allegedly falsifying business records to cover up a hush money payment scheme to a porn actress. Trump has denied any wrongdoing in all of the investigations. The Biden administration is suspending funding for the Wuhan Institute of Virology. That follows a months-long review that determined the Chinese Research Institute was not compliant with federal safety regulations. In actuality, the lab has not received funding from the National Institutes of Health since July of 2020. The facility plays a central role in theories that the COVID-19 pandemic may have originated from a lab leak there in late 2019. But investigators have yet to reach a definitive conclusion of where the coronavirus originated. On day six of the strike that has shut down most of Hollywood, there's still no sign that the two sides are any closer. Actors are joining screenwriters on the Hollywood picket lines. The SAG after union is striking for better pay and protections against artificial intelligence. Part of the dispute is over the way streaming services have upset the Hollywood business model with shorter seasons, including just six to ten episodes. SAG after President Fran Dresser says actors can't make enough money appearing on CBS Mornings. The nanny actor said the studios are resisting their invitation to negotiate. I wish we would be talking to the other side. We said we would start talking to them immediately, but they're punishing us. They don't want to talk to us. So, oh, well, you know, they complain that it's going to shut down the business, but they don't come to the table. The Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, which negotiates on behalf of the studios, says actors were offered more than a billion dollars in higher pay and benefits, but Drescher says if the deal was so great, they would not have gone on strike. Well, there's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. Streaming service Peacock will soon be raising its prices, plus the legal fight over Taco Tuesday is over. That's next in the Money Watch Report. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Attention, Wisconsin veterans. I'm Tony Evers, the governor of Wisconsin. If you are a veteran struggling to pay for rent, utilities, or other life-sustaining services, I want you to know that the Veterans Rental Assistance Program is here to help. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. You have already made a most noble sacrifice. You shouldn't have to continue doing so. We are here to support you. With pride in the way, it's never easy to ask for assistance, but rest assured, we are here to help. The VRAP team is standing by to help. So call 833-WISVRAP or visit VRAPWI.com. You've always been there for us. We want you to know that we're here for you. On behalf of the state of Wisconsin, thank you. Ride a chip.
<clears throat> Just taking a break. That window's a bear. Don't worry. My cousin's got a guy. <laughs> Hey, I'm not sure I can help you with the house gas, but I can help you replace this window fast. Let the experts at Feldco kickstart your summer with two-for-one windows and no interest until 2025. Plus, we'll get it done with Feldco fast. Two-for-one windows won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. We need to talk about Sonabello. We are getting rid of all of this all of this today ladies this summer you can cover up or feel confident from head to toe with sono bello one visit permanent fat removal look at this shape my tummy is gone and my hourglass shape is back wherever there is excess fat we can remove it that's what we do all day every day sono bello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good. I could actually wear a two-piece after 25 years. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Now, with our Best Body Summer event, you can schedule your free, no-obligation consultation, plus save $250 off instantly. That's $250 off your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. Call 1-888-634-9939 or go to sonobello.com. Surgenian's 93-year history means you pay $93 for installation no matter how many rooms you carpet. Get carpet and pad and your old carpet removed and recycled. Our competitors can't match it. Ask about 18-month financing. Local, sustainable Surgenian's. There are a billion reasons to buy a Powerball ticket, with tonight's big jackpot now at $1 billion. That's the third largest prize in the game's history. The cash payout for a winning ticket would be nearly $517 million before taxes. Peacock is hiking prices for the first time since its launch back in 2020. The NBC Universal streaming platform's premium plan now costs a dollar more for new customers at $5.99 a month. The ad-free plan will go up $2 to $11.99 per month. The price increase will hit current Peacock subscribers in mid-August. And a legal fight over Taco Tuesday is over. Wyoming-based fast food chain Taco John's says it will no longer defend its federal trademark of the phrase. It comes two months after rival Taco Bell filed a petition to challenge the trademark, claiming it wanted to, quote, liberate the phrase for restaurants nationwide. The dispute goes on in New Jersey, where a restaurant vows to keep fighting for the exclusive right to Taco Tuesday promotions in that state. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call. Checking Wall Street on this Taco Tuesday, the Dow Industrial is up 110 points. The NASDAQ up 5, the S&P 500 up almost 10 points. Really Our call for action volunteers are in the building taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. Volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can call for action right now at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. The Mega Millions jackpot is now an estimated $720 million. No winning ticket matching all six numbers was sold in last night's Mega Millions jackpot drawing. The next drawing is Friday. It has a cash value of nearly $370 million. It's only the fifth time in Mega Millions history that the jackpot surpassed the $700 million mark. We'll have today's egg prices next at noon, along with Greg's latest forecast. And then today on Live at 4, Consumer Report shows us how to avoid dealer markups and extra fees when you buy a new car. That's at 4. Construction invites you to celebrate summer with our hot summer sale. We're talking about hot savings of 23%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Get on board for our hot summer sale. Save 23% off gutters with any full roofing or siding project. Schedule your consultation today at FryConstruction.com. Wish you had help getting things done. Same. So I got Spectrum One. Fast internet 
unlimited mobile and advanced Wi-Fi, all for a great price. Want it? Here's the number. Call 833-784-4999 to get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and your first line of unlimited mobile free for 12 months. Spectrum Internet delivers the fastest download speeds in the nation. Which helps me run all of this easily. Kids checkups. Scheduled. Work. Bust. Treat dispenser. Treating. And since I'm always on this, unlimited mobile is a no-brainer. Work. Switch to Hello. Spectrum One. 300 megabit internet, unlimited mobile, and advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security. Spectrum One. Gets it done. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, and your first line of unlimited mobile free for 12 months. Call 833-784-4999. Visit Spectrum.com or stop by a store today. Madison Magazine Summer Restaurant Week is here. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course meal starting at $30 featuring wine and more starting July 23rd through the 28th. For a list of participating restaurants, menus, and details, visit madisonrestaurantweek.com. It's a perfect opportunity to sample some of Madison's local restaurants. Don't miss Madison Magazine Summer Restaurant Week 2023. Presenting sponsor, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. Supporting sponsor, Bergstrom Cadillac and Chevrolet. Wine sponsor, Delicato and Frederick Wildman. From damaging drought to catastrophic flooding and severe storms in every season, the News 3 Now First Warn Weather Team gives you a deeper understanding of Wisconsin's ever-changing weather with special reports that go beyond the barometer. Thursday at 6. Madison Mallards Baseball brings you a night of fireworks on the base paths. And after the game is over, don't miss the Mallards' next fireworks night, Friday, July 21st, against the Green Bay Rockers. Get your tickets today. News 3 Now is a proud sponsor of Madison Mallards Baseball. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Pam Yankee from the Midwest Farm Report is out of the radio barn today. She'll be back tomorrow, so here are your farm numbers. A visit to the dentist is rarely pleasant, but now many dentists are trying to create a spa-like experience, adding services to make your visits as enjoyable as possible. Here's Dr. Malika Marshall, who visited one. Hey, Kelly. Since she was a child, Kelly Harris has dreaded going to the dentist. I've had Novocaine needles break in my mouth, um, dentists that didn't have a lot of compassion. But now Kelly says she looks forward to her dental appointments, drills and all, thanks to a new approach at what are more like dental spas. Unfortunately, there is a lot of fear around the dentist, and we really wanted to reframe that, change the mindset. Patients at Elite Dental Studio are greeted in a modern lounge with soothing music and a drink bar where they can enjoy a cappuccino before their appointment. Once in the exam room, patients can choose from a variety of creature comforts for free. If you want noise-canceling headphones, maybe you don't like the sounds, or maybe you want a weighted blanket just to help combat that anxiety, or you want to watch Netflix, um, whatever it is that puts you at ease. All of these comfort add-ons are available and complimentary to patients whether they have dental insurance or not. Plus, every new patient gets one complimentary 30-minute facial. And Dr. Perry says the mouth is very important, but... It doesn't just end at the teeth, you know, the face is part of that. You know, we offer aesthetic services. We are offering Botox and fillers as well as, you know, cosmetic treatments. For an additional fee. Today, Kelly chose the complimentary weighted blanket and eye massager. And I'll put some headphones on you as well. Okay. To know that you can come and feel happy going to the dentist when before it was just a state of panic. So I'm grateful. And her teeth have never been healthier. Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS News, Westboro, Massachusetts. 
It's important to change the mindset of grown-ups around dental care so they don't pass their anxiety on to their kids. Let's check back now with Greg in the complete forecast. Yeah, we still have some rain coming tonight, but really the chances are pretty slim that we're going to see some thunderstorms come through. But we do have that opportunity tonight and then still got a chance this weekend, but most of the weekend should be dry and it looks dry next week, but the heat and the humidity are going to come back. So that could result in a few thunderstorms. Just not a lot of confidence when we'll see that. But temperatures, no issues through the weekend. It gets hot really next week. And that's when we could see some heat indexes come above 95, maybe some heat advisories coming, which we haven't seen all summer long. Precipitation kind of shows why we don't have much going on here, really to the north that we've already seen some through the next several days. This goes all the way through the next seven days. So not a lot, but a quarter to a half, depending on if we get hit by a thunderstorm or not. But most of the areas probably will be remaining dry and could be dry through the next seven days. So that's not the great news. Most of the storm track remains really kind of where it has been, around about Denver down to St. Louis. Kind of in those areas where they've seen more of the thunderstorm complexes kind of go through and give you pretty much a lot of rain. Overall, we're going to see this wave come through right here. It's going to start developing this afternoon along the front. We'll see if those storms stay together as they head south. Better shot as you go further north, you'll have some thunderstorms less as you get down towards southern Wisconsin. It'll come through the morning hours. Then we should clear out and we'll have some cloud cover in the afternoon with that northerly flow, but no precipitation. The next wave, as you see, kind of goes right to the south, kind of over the same pattern. And then we see a few little waves kind of dive south, but other than some cloud cover through Friday, we're not going to see much other than that. Today, southerly winds will keep those temperatures in. The dew point's a little bit higher. You'll see the showers up the north, but they're going to stay up there probably at least through almost to the midnight hour. And then as we go through, we'll see the temperatures, you see the line starting to form, pushing down further south into the Black River Falls area. And then as we Get closer to midnight is when we're going to start seeing the line approach southern Wisconsin. Once again, if this can hold together, which the stuff last night didn't hold together, we'll see some showers and thunderstorms really midnight through about 3 to 4 a.m. I think for most areas as you wake up. Could be a lingering shower or two in some of the areas south and east of Madison, but I think all areas will start clearing out. Temperature's not as cool tonight. It's mid 60s. You see the wind change behind the front, which means tomorrow will be northwest winds. We'll start off clear skies. We'll, some, we'll have some clouds build in the afternoon. But otherwise, temperatures around the upper 70s, near 80. No precipitation, but it will be a little cooler. The dew point's a little bit less, too, as we go into Thursday. Thursday night should be clear, good conditions. We'll get back down into the upper 50s as we go on Friday. The big change comes really next week after we have a series of systems come through this weekend. That dome of high pressure that's been sitting over the southwest, typical for this time of year, is starting going to be pulled northward. And through next week, it's really going to be centered further east and further north than it has been pretty much this whole summer. So that's going to allow really the heat, but also the humidity start to increase. The series of storms will head north. You see the jet really comes to the north. So that's the pattern we're seeing next week. We could see some showers or thunderstorms come through this pattern, but it's a lot of uncertainty when. But we're really looking at really this dome to push further east. That's why we're thinking next weekend we'll probably see an excessive heat at least two days, and that's what we're going on right now. 26 to the 27th, a moderate risk for excessive heat. That means heat index is above 95. Better shot, you go further southwest where it kind of typically is this time of year, but that's what we're looking for next week. So well, there will be some changes, but we haven't had any of that heat and really much humidity this summer. So as you look at the seven to 10 day forecast, we're looking at the mid 80s as we get towards this weekend. For fair wise, should be fairly good for all that. Maybe a chance Sunday, but I think most areas will remain dry. And then there's your temperature start to climb up next week into the low 90s. Overnight lows, mid to up 60s, and those dew points will be getting up in the mid 60s, so it will get kind of muggy and humid next week. All right, so enjoy this, I guess. Yes, enjoy it. We've been lucky so far, but unfortunately, we're going to have some of that come our All way. Right. Thank you, Greg. Well, does pineapple belong on pizza? How about in soda? Well, Pepsi is bringing back its pineapple-flavored soda in a partnership with Little Caesars. Right now, pineapple, lover, pineapple lovers can get their fruit on their pizza and wash it down with a tropical pop. Pineapple Pepsi first came out in 2020, but if you want it now, it's only available at Little Caesars and for a limited time. There's more to come on News for Now at Noon. I'm next. You want to see what Howard does with hot dogs in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Rather than cooking the same old thing this summer, how about making a budget-friendly all-in-one main dish that's as fun to make as it is to eat? News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today.
Save 11% off everything at Menards. Check out our huge selection of Patriot Lighting ceiling fans. They make a beautiful addition to any room while reducing energy costs year-round. Get a Tisbury 2 LED ceiling fan in bronze or brush nickel finish for $79.99 after rebate. Keep your devices powered with Energizer Max batteries. They deliver consistent performance and have lasting power. Grab a 24-pack of AA and AAA batteries for just $13.99 each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. I would have to hold my back as I got off the rug, but I didn't want to stop sitting on the floor because that's where I do most of my teaching. After I decided my pain was too much, I went to the doctor and the doctor said it might be my feet. Suggested that I do visit the Good Feet store. After I went to the Good Feet store, I realized that you don't have to live in constant pain. They took my pain away. Thanks to the Good Feet store. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. Days only. Madison's massive Factory Direct Hot Tub and Swim Spa Show. Save up to 50% off hundreds of quality brand hot tubs and swim spas. Flexible financing. Everything must go. And Sunday at Madison Marriott West. EliteSpaSales.com. You should come with me to the Wisconsin. Great state of Wisconsin. State Fair. There's something for everyone at the Wisconsin State Fair, presented by U.S. Cellular August 3rd through the 13th. You got me. Tag, you're it. Imagine a world with no drama. With 4imprint, you don't have to chase down the perfect promotional products. Exclusive apparel, bags, drinkware, and more. 4imprint will help you capture the moment and guarantee to deliver your order on time and on budget. Take the drama out of ordering promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. With the warmer weather upon us, many of us are starting to think about using our grills more and more. Rather than cooking the same old thing all summer long, today we're sharing a budget-friendly way to turn everyday hot dogs into an all-in-one main dish that's as fun to make as it is to eat. Since you most likely have hot dogs on hand, all you need to do is cut them into two-inch chunks and thread them on skewers, along with rings of fresh corn, green and red pepper, and some chunked up red onion. You want to repeat this one or two more times, depending on how long your skewers are. After we use up all the hot dogs and veggies, we brush the whole thing with a simple homemade glaze that we made by mixing together some chili sauce, brown sugar, and a bit of yellow mustard. At this point, these are ready for the grill, or if you want, you can cook them under the broiler. These may be simple, but the taste and look is anything but. You see, the glaze actually begins to caramelize as it cooks and brings out the richness that no one would ever expect. To get the recipe for our hot dog kebabs, all you have to do is hop on our website. If only everything in life was this easy. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a hot diggity dog way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's Greg now, one final check of the forecast. Yeah, we got uh, good conditions here for the concert on square. Should just see partly cloudy skies. We'll get up to low 80s and fall back to the upper 70s this evening. Tonight we have thunderstorms to the north. Slight risk for some severe weather, probably north of the Dells. Those thunderstorms will begin to push into the area late tonight. Won't be severe. The weekend we'll see if they get through here by morning hour. Tomorrow cooler. We're looking at about the 80 degrees, and then the weekend looks fairly good with mid 80s. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you back here at four o'clock. In the meantime, have a great afternoon.